I just wasn't thinking straight, really. Like, I wasn't thinking before I was doing. Now that I'm at the gym, I feel like I've got more, like, I feel like I'm not as impulsive. Like, I would think before I do something. My name's Kyle Ayrton. I'm the CEO and founding director of The Mental Shift. Um, I'm also the project manager of our brand new Lives Not Lives programme. The Mental Shift is a community interest company founded in November 2022, which uses Muay Thai as a primary method in providing support and education to young men around issues such as mental health and violent crime reduction. So I've lived in the West End my whole life. Um, so I'm 18 now, so I've lived here for 18 years. Um, and I live in North Hill, which anyone that knows North Hills Hill, Elzick, places like that, is known to be quite a rough place. Um, and over the past year or two, knife crime in particular, but violent crime, drug use, anti-social behaviour has risen massively. Um, it's affecting the community, but more or less it's affecting young people more than anything. Young lads who, you know, they don't like school or whatever it is, or they don't want to get a job. So they go out on the streets, they cause trouble, hang about in gangs. Um, and it, it has become a massive problem to the point in which towards the back end of 2022, um, I know of at least two people, two young lads who were victims of knife crime. Um, so Lives Not Knives is an initiative that takes a holistic approach to traditional support and education. Um, and we're tackling in particular violent crime, antisocial behaviour and drug use. We provide young lads with a way, a way out, a, a safe place to be in the evening, every night. A dream, something to, to work towards, something to aspire towards, um, and a community. The gym, especially Northern King's Gym, which is our current service provider, massive community. A community of new fighters, experienced fighters, or up and coming fighters of all ages and all genders. So for me, with my mental health, and this is the main reason the mental shift was set up, because I use Muay Thai as my way out, my way to, to tackle and support my own mental health. Um, and I've heard stories, and I've obviously got that personal experience of how beneficial Muay Thai can be. So to me, it made sense to put Muay Thai together with me trying to tackle violent crime and antisocial behaviour. Young lads, were working with young lads in the area, Young lads quite often, stereotypically you can say, but um, they like to engage in combat sport as a way to get their anger out, as a way to compete with each other, and as a way just to have fun. So for me, putting Muay Thai and the, the goal to reduce violent crime and antisocial behaviour in, in the area just made complete sense. So all participants that refer to us are people who are either involved in antisocial behaviour are vulnerable or likely to get involved in that sort of behaviour. So we provide them with free Muay Thai training, free gear, opportunities outside the gym to attend fight shows and go to different gyms, and just a community, a safe place to be with people who are like-minded, people who come to the gym to have fun, to get fit, or people who come to the gym because they have that goal in their mind that they want to fight. Um, and I believe it is one of the best ways to get through to young lads to get them off the street and into the gym, get them to do something they enjoy, to come to a place where people will support them and won't judge them for what they've done and just purely help them to get to a better place in the future. My name's Lewis, I'm 17 years old and I train out of Northern Kings. Well, I was getting myself in loads of trouble uh, on the streets and that. Um, just don't, just don't daft shit, um, smoking drugs, um, Things like that, just getting arrested for stupid things. Um, and I came here, and it's really helped us. It's helped us like get away from that, and just put me set, put me set on the right road. Before I came here, I wasn't in a routine or nothing. I would just wake up. I would, I would think, what am I doing today? day? And then I'd leave the house, and I would just end up going down like smoking weed and that. And um, since I've came here, I've managed to get myself in like a good routine. Like I wake up at like eight o'clock. I get me breakfast and that. Um, get ready for the day and then I know in my mind that I just need to I wait and I'm coming to the gym later and that helps us like take my mind off like going out with my pals and like get me selling bother. I would go out and I just wouldn't think what I was doing and I was using it as like 
like a, I had a distraction I would say to like take my mind off these other things that was happening and like I just wasn't thinking straight really like I wasn't thinking before I was doing now that I'm at the gym I feel like I've got more like I feel like I'm not as impulsive like I would think before I do something training in a Muay Thai gym it instills good values values of respect discipline me, for example, I, when I came to a gym, I had no discipline. Um, I had no sense of routine. I, would, I wouldn't say I had the most respect either. Um, but when I started training, you're in a place in which you can get humbled quite quick. If you come in here with an ego and you're cocky and you're arrogant, you can get humbled very quickly. But if you come in here open-minded, everyone here will help you learn. People will push you. Me, for example, when... You know, I came to a class and I was talking. People would push me to do better. They would push me to just focus on the training. And that sense of community, those people around you, that will, you know, they'll tell you when you're doing wrong, but they'll also tell you when you're doing good. That is massive. The, the people that want to help you learn, the people who would teach you the ways to respect people, the way to be disciplined in yourself, and then obviously that will... It's not a quick fix, but over time it will then, you know, become that person's nature. And then they'll go out into the community a better person. And then that will reflect on their peers and their family and the people around them. Because I've tried boxing in the past and stuff like that, and it didn't, like, I felt like it was just more, like, boring, do you know what I mean? It was just the same thing. But with my tie, it's like, there's so many things to, like, learn, like, and think about when you're, like, doing it. Like, just the tiniest things can, like, change, like, a full, like... Like, the way you're kicking that, it's mad. I feel like that's, like, made it more appealing for us. Um, and I, I think, I think other people should just do it, just because you'll notice the difference. Like, after, after a few, even after a few weeks, you'll notice, like, it makes yourself feel much better. Because I've been, I've been here for, what? Two months, two, two months now, yeah. Um, so I have had up and down periods, but um, like it's helped us just like knowing that the gym is here to come to, like and like getting myself here. Like I notice some days I'll be like, oh, don't know if I can be bothered, but once I've been here, I can feel I know the difference. So I just push myself to come. It's changed my mental health massively. Um, like I feel like I've got a better outlook on life now. Like I just feel happier. Just all around happier. I just more outgoing. I'm just seeing myself since I've came, since I started and like to now, the improvement is like, from anything I've ever tried, like like cams, things like that, anything I've ever tried, this is like what helped us the most. Since I've started, I've noticed the most improvement or anything I've tried, physically and mentally. Like um, I've, uh, I feel more fit and mental health is much better. Um, and yeah, it's just, Coming here every day, smashing a few pads, like helps us get me ang out as well. Like, I don't feel like after I've been here, I just feel like um, I feel more relaxed, more don't feel as uptight as normal. So far, we have a program. We we know what we're doing. We know how it's going to run. We've trialed it and it's worked. We've got more funding to work with more people. The only thing standing in our way in the moment is more funding. Because we have funding to work with eight more participants from September to July. After that, I don't want to just stop it and say, OK, that's that done. I want to get more funding so then this can be something that's running all year round every year. I don't want there to be gaps. I don't want to run a programme and have a six month gap until we run the next one. I want this to be continuous things. So we're constantly working with new people all across the community. I'm a big believer in a young person's voice and a young person's opinion. I want to give young people the power to shape the programme and to, to have an impact on what we do next, where we do it, how we do it. Um, and a lot of our, our evaluation will come from the young people we work with. The young people involved in our programme, they're who matter most. When I go to a funder at the end of our programme, my evaluation will come from the young people. Um, but also a lot of these young people are people who have a massive core support group who work with different services and organisations across their area. So a lot of our evaluation will come from social workers, 
um, the police, um, care coordinators, mental health services, teachers, parents, um, and that will more or less just fill in the little blanks that the young person have provided. That's just a little extra bit of support, extra bit of evidence to make our case a bit stronger. The people we work with, we work in their best interest. We work to, to help them get the most out of the programme. We help them to improve their performance, both physically and mentally. If a person that we work with asks for a certain thing, we'll do whatever we can to provide it. Whether that's for additional gear, additional one-to-one -one sessions if they need help with travel, or they want to go to a certain gym or a certain fight show. If they ask for something and they feel it would benefit them, help them get the most out of the programme, we as the Mental Shift will do whatever we can to get it for them, to provide it for them, or as a way to help them get the most out of it. Each young person we work with is different. They have different needs, they want different things from the programme. And we tailor our programme to that individual. Yeah, we might work with four or five people at once, but we don't do it as that. We don't do it as one programme fits all. We do it as, yeah, we've got one programme, we're working with five people, but what do each of these individual five people need? What does he want that he doesn't need? What does he need that he doesn't need? And we do it that way. We also um, provide support around mental wellbeing, um, exploitation, things like that. If a young person feels that, yeah, the Muay Thai is working, but they could do extra support, counselling, um, online services, whatever it is. As much as the mental shift doesn't provide it, we have connections with people that do. We're able to signpost participants and par parents and carers to the right people, people that can help. We can make refer referrals. Whatever it is, we're able to provide that. We also work with um, an amazing guy called Rob, who runs Therapy with Rob, which is mind coaching and hypnotherapy. We provide this service to our participants through um, the Therapy with Rob app and one-to-one -one mind coaching sessions, more or less helping the participant change their mindset and mentality, helping them if they're struggling with confidence, discipline, resilience, there's resources there for them. If they want help with their mental health, we can provide it to them. We're also trialling um, workshops that are tailored to certain areas of mental health or violent crime reduction and social behaviour. So if they want training around anxiety or depression or eating disorders or work around drug use or and um, county lines, we're able to outsource that and provide it to them. Any advice you give to people who are in a similar position that you were in? Um, get yourself to a gym or anything. Just get active. Like um, Get yourself in a routine. Um, and just stay off the streets, it's not worth it. To find out more about Lives Not Knives and the mental shift in general, our Instagram is at the.mentalshift. You can find us on um, YouTube, The Mental Shift UK, or on our website, www.thementalshift.org.